over the past four or five weeks, I've been doing an experiment on the pond using potassium permanganate treatment to oxidize the water, which would, um, in theory, result in clearer water and also getting rid of the majority of the organics inside of the water. And uh, my thought process was that this lowers the maintenance, requiring less water change overall and providing more oxygen for the fish because there's less organic and so the, um, the biological oxygen demand would have been lower therefore the fish would be um, benefiting from the extra oxygen and it's been working out. Um, the water has been extremely clear, a lot clearer than I initially expected. Um, the first three, four treatments of um, potassium permanganate or PP at around four parts per million was uh, it didn't really have the result that I was looking for it took a while before the water cleared up but I think after maybe four or five treatments eventually it became essentially almost crystal clear and um, unfortunately the reflection of my shade cell on top is so visible in the video but in person the fish and the water is it's much more it's much clearer than what this video can capture. Um, however, I've noticed an ongoing issue with the fish, with the treatment, at least with my particular treatment dosage. And that was some of the fish were flashing and rubbing against the floor. So of course, um, I was kind of worried. I thought I maybe had some sort of parasite or disease going on. And I ended up treating the entire pond with two courses of prosequano and then followed by four courses of um, proform C or basically a formalin, a formalin or malacite green and uh, even though I did all that treatment every now and then I would still see one or two fish that was um, scraped against the floor and so I wasn't entirely confident that those were the proper treatment and then I purchased a microscope and started scoping the slime coat of the fish and I still couldn't find anything um, and of course you know my uh, water parameters the result of the water test is almost as perfect as it can be I mean here we have ammonia, pH is between 7.5 and 8, nitrate is very low, almost basically at the yellow, and then nitrite is essentially zero. And then for the KH, I got um, 7 degrees of hardness, so that's well over 100 KH uh, alkalinity value. So. The water is not something I'm concerned with. But because some of the fish are still flashing against the, the floor or the bottom of the pond, um, I am thinking that perhaps the person who wrote about the PP treatment, uh, his pond was different from mine. So his 4 ppm treatment may have worked but for me it might be a little too much I think because of my um, drum filter cleaning everything really nicely um, there just isn't a lot of organic or uh, detritus in my pond to warrant that kind of a high treatment so um, today is actually the day in which I'm supposed to administer the treatment and instead of going with for, uh, four parts per million, uh, which is about two ounces for my pond, I will be reducing it to one ounce or two ppm. Hopefully, it will just treat the water and keep it clean without causing irritation and uh, harm to the fish, uh, scales, or gills. I think so far, though, since the last time I administered the PP, which was on a Friday, and now it's a Tuesday, basically. Um, Three days has gone by and 
as more time passes, there is fewer flashes, um, fewer flashing from the fish that I'm observing. So I think the culprit really is just the high PP treatment. I think it was irritating the fish. But if I think, see, see that one right there that was flashing? Although sometimes the fish do flash when they hit the bottom and and it hits kind of like the fold in the liner. It, it can sometimes cause them to rub against it too. But I think mostly it's because of the skin irritation from the potassium permanganate treatment. So I'll be lowering it down to 2 ppm and monitoring and seeing how it's going. Hopefully it continues to keep the water clean, but causes little to no tissue damage on the koi. And of course, hopefully reduce the flashing that I'm seeing. Mm. But so far, the, um, the koi feeder is working really well. I have not had to feed the koi in four or five days. Uh, I dumped, of course, a bunch of food in here. And as you can see, the part where it um, dispenses, it's going down there slowly. It's probably going to take a good month or more just to finish all of this. But I can't really deny the water clarity from the PP treatment. It's just so much better than, than anything else I've tried. I'll keep this updated and see how it goes after the next few rounds of treatment at a lower dosage.